What's going on everybody? This is gonna be kind of a casual talking video, but here on the channel, I normally don't make videos like this or about stuff like this because I try to stay out of anything that's going on on social media, Twitter, and the world. Um, unless it's something that's like directly impacting me or like something that involves me in a way. Um, but if you've been on Twitter, odds are you've seen the bombshell drops that's been happening last night and this morning, and it's absolutely insane. And I feel like if this was any other content creator or something like that, I probably wouldn't make any type of comment on this. I wouldn't say anything, but the fact that this is a person that I have been covering on the channel pretty much the entirety of the year, and even parts of last year, heavily is pretty disturbing but if you guys don't know what's going on uh we are pretty much down to two very 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 reliable sources on twitter that gives us inside scoops of what to expect from nintendo of course you know the one and only pioro obviously this isn't about pioro though this is about the other one being midori now midori has been pretty much a persona japanese game leaker for a long time and just recently started to really dive into some Nintendo stuff. And if you guys haven't been seeing my past videos, they've really been kind of giving us code names for games that Nintendo has been working on and is still currently working on, which is crazy. And some of those code names could include 3D Mario games, the next Splatoon, Luigi's Mansion. There's a whole bunch of other games in there. I mean, like, it's crazy how many code names that were dropped. So, I mean, we didn't need those, but it still gave us some, you know, satisfaction of knowing what was coming. And outside of the code names, there was lots of other leaks that they have gotten correct and has been pretty spot on with a lot of things, including some things to expect for the upcoming Nintendo Direct. Well, obviously, Midori had grown an extreme following on Twitter, and a lot of people looked to them for new information on whether it be Persona or something Nintendo related, and for a while was one of the final kind of what do you call the final bosses of leakers online? Pioro and Midori. That's who they were. They were working hand in hand, taking down fake leakers and just kind of doing their thing on Twitter until last night. So apparently something came up. I don't know the 100% details, but someone made a video or someone made a claim kind of outing Midori and who they actually are. And for a while, Midori had been telling everybody that she is a Japanese woman and that she had been trying to learn English to, you know, kind of give us leaks and even been tweeting in broken English at times to give us the leaks. And then all of this just kind of crumbled down to the ground because we find out that Midori, in fact, is a man. A white man named Ryan? T <laughs> what? Yeah, he's not even Japanese. So what is going on here? Yeah, this is where things get weird. I guess this Midori character that he portrayed was a persona. And, you know, obviously, no pun intended. Yeah, the profile pic. But anyways, yeah, you know, he was never a Japanese girl in the first place. And I guess was just kind of playing through this whole character the whole time, fooling people, acting like he was speaking in broken English. That's kind of insane. I know that alone isn't, like, super serious. But, like, that's crazy that, like, they just literally tweet as if they're Japanese trying to learn English. I mean, that can definitely be offensive, <laughs> and that's just strange to me. That, like, that is a weird thing to pull off. What makes it even weirder is that there was a recent news report, like, I mean, literally hours before this all happened in Chicago, uh, that actually showed Ryan, I believe that's what they're saying on Twitter right now. Uh, I don't know if this is true or not, but they apparently even had the picture of him because Ryan is actually not just Midori, but another leaker in the past named Mystic Distance. Now, once again, this is just a whole bunch of stuff on Twitter right now that's going around. I can't 100% clarify anything like that. And no, I am not doxing this person because apparently he has brought this up multiple multiple times and posted this picture alone multiple multiple times that he is in fact mystic dance but yeah he was mystic dance and then went through the persona of midori and then acted like a japanese woman this entire time in order to share leaks and stuff yeah why i don't this is just so strange i don't know but yeah still not too bad you know just strange but then it just yeah it, it just gets worse yep someone posts on twitter message receipts pretty much outing mystic dance aka midori as a pedo her victims had actually come out and spoken up about midori so 
as you can see, this went from bad to worse very quickly. And of course, everyone is just instantly furious over this. And it makes sense because a lot of people, I mean, a lot of people, myself, content creators were backing this person up and just kind of putting their name out there and just hyping them up with their announcements and stuff, just making them seem like just this extremely well-loved insider for Nintendo and for Persona and for other Japanese games. And just people loved Midori on Twitter. It was one of the good people, you know? She was, until we found out, no, he's not. <laughs> so since then, a lot of people have just come out and just said, you know, Midori's just a trash human being with problems and issues of their own, and it's just not been good. And this immediately is just like a slap in the face to the Nintendo community specifically as well, not just the Persona community, really for the gaming community online right now, because we've been sitting here covering Midori for literally this entire year. One thing a lot of people are going to be asking is, is any of that info real? Like, is any of his actual leaks true? Odds are they probably are, because it seemed like he got his hands on some type of Nintendo internal documents and also kind of going off of the rumors and sources from others as well. None of it was really coming from him, though. It was more a collaboration of others. Uh, so the information seems to be real, and we're just going to have to wait and see if these code names are also real, you know, referring to a Splatoon 4 game, the next 3D Mario. Obviously, these games are going to happen, so I don't know if we're ever going to know for sure. But as far as some of the other small leaks that they were hinting at, We'll have to just wait and see if they were actually real, and it seems like they were, but what makes this also hilarious is that Midori was also planning to just retire and be done, like literally days before this stuff came out, which is kind of weird now that I think about it, so it kind of matches. I also made a second post, of course, talking about him leaving and just pretty much says, yeah, I'm done. I'm getting out of here, and hurry up and dips and dodges out of this thing before it gets even worse, but... Yeah, it looks like this is this is it for Midori. But why am I covering this? It's because obviously I've posted tons of videos talking about some of their leaks. And of course, as we do that, we take the risk of not knowing what the person is behind the leaks and not knowing if the leaks are 100% true and stuff. And that's just something that you live with and move on. But yeah, a lot of people would probably be wondering, hey, what happened to that leak that you were talking about from that Midori person? So I just thought I'd make a video talking about why you're probably not going to hear anything else about these leaks. And at least until something happens then we'll just talk about them when they come out but yeah that's the whole gist and right now twitter is just an absolute fireplace full of comments about this and yeah of course there's probably going to be actual videos kind of breaking this down a lot more based on you know all the facts and stuff so look out for those this video is definitely not that it's more along the lines of just saying that we are now down to one prominent leaker in the community this is smaller ones but at least one that has pretty much been 100 percent correct and that is pro so i'm very interested to see if pro says anything about this but yeah pro hopefully you turn out to actually be a bird please. So yeah, it's been one messy week so far, but definitely let me know your opinions on this down below. And thank you so much for tuning in. And let's just get excited for the upcoming Nintendo Direct because it seems like it's going to be happening next week. We're just going to have to wait and see. But thank you for tuning in. And like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.